Hello everybody. My talk now will be on Markov processes, which are usually described by well-posed Martingale problems. And there, the notion of duality is frequently used. In particular, it's used for showing uniqueness of the Martingale problem. But now we have a technique to use duality to show existence of the solution of a Martingale problem. So this is joint work with Andre Depperschmidt and Andreas Geben, both from Erlangen. So let's get right into it. As you might know, Markov processes are usually described by Martingale problems, which is the following. You have something which is called a generator or pre-generator, um, which maps functions to functions. And um, a solution of the GX Martingale problem is a process or its distribution um, such that this here f of x minus integral over gf um, is a Martingale for all such f which can be plugged into the generator. And usually you want to have a well postness of this Martingale problem, which means that the solution of the Martingale problem is unique and exists. Usually what you do is you show uniqueness by showing uniqueness of one dimensional distributions for any kind of starting distribution. And existence is usually done, for example, by approximation techniques. So e.g. you want to describe Brownian motion and you approximate this by um, a random walk. And how comes duality into play here? Um, as follows, X and Y are dual processes, dual Markov processes, if the following holds. So on the left here, you have an expectation with respect to XT. On the right here, you have an expectation with respect to YT. And these here should match for some function H. And of course, this is trivial if H is uh, very simple, but if h is uh, has more structure in particular if this here so you fix y you treat this as a function of x and this here is separating then you can see that um, the right hand side here if y exists gives uh, uniqueness of the one-dimensional distribution, so it gives uniqueness of the distribution of xt, which then, by this claim here, um, shows uniqueness of the Martingale problem. So that's what you usually do. And now we want to also use duality to show existence of the gx Martingale problem. And in fact, we are not the first ones to do this, because um, we borrowed all the ideas here from Evans, and also we, as we learned from Dünken, which just treated special cases uh, of what we now uh, want to do. Let me briefly treat this equation, this duality equation again, and how you usually show this. I mean, this here looks very special, but it's not as special anymore when you talk about the generators of the process. As follows, if you have generators of the Markov processes X and Y called GX and GY, and you have this here. So the generator of the function uh, where Y is fixed, and here the generator where X is fixed, and that's just the same, then in fact, um, this equation here holds, as you can easily see, because when you compute the time derivative of this function here, on a probability space where x and y are independent, you see this is zero, which means that at s equals zero, um, you have the right-hand side here, and at s equals t here, you have the left-hand side here, and since the ds derivative is zero, these here must match if just the generator equation here holds. So um, duality is not so hard to see when you look at the generator. Now, let me come to our claim. How is duality used for existence of a Martingale problem? Again, we have H such that the, uh, which is a rich class of functions, the PX is separating. 
we need a generator of gx but of course we want to um, find the solution so there is no x yet but y is a markov process which so solves the gy martingham problem and assume that we can find distributions mu t of x and a distribution here in the second variable such that the following here holds this here and some measurability conditions must also hold then so if we can find this mu here in fact then mu t will be um, the distribution of the solution of the martingham problem xt so if you can find this then the gx martingham problem has a solution and since we already have a dual process it's also unique so we have a well post martingham problem and the solution satisfies yeah xt has distribution mu t and x and y are dual and in fact the proof is not very hard because all we have to do is yeah to see that the xt as we define this here satisfies the chapman cone uh, equations but actually they follow from y being markov because uh, the Chap chapman Kolmorov equations hold for y, so they also hold for x. So let me make an example, which is here the Fleming Leo super process, which is an important process in mathematical population genetics. Let me just set the scene on the slide here. So, what do we need to apply our theorem? We need a process, a Markov process y, we need um, a state space for our process x and we need a duality function. And here, the state space of X is the set of probability measures on the unit interval. We have for the process Y, a process which takes values in functions. So the state space here is the function space. So any continuous functions of an n-fold product um, of the unit interval. And the H here, just integrates the y here over the product measure of x. And if the y is in i, uh, I to the n, then you need the n-fold product measure, which I just abbreviated here like this. We need a description of y, and that's easily done using the generator. What does y do? It jumps from y to y composed with theta ij, and what is theta ij? Theta ij is the function which identifies the variables i and j. So instead of uj, what you would have here, you just use ui here, which then for the flame bio process will mean that you have a resampling event and one individual died, which is at variable j, and the ith interval here replaced the jth. So we need to ask ourselves, can we find the mu t here of the theorem? And that works as follows. Um, x is a starting point that's, that's fixed. And you need to understand that this here, y maps to this um, expectation, that's a linear function because yt is just linear because it's just composition with another function. And in fact, this map here is linear and can be extended um, to a linear form on the set i to the power of the natural numbers. And therefore, you can use the um, Ries-Markov theorem, which states that if you have a uh, linear form on some com compact space, so that's compact here, um, then you in fact find a measure, and here you even find a probability measure, um, such that this equation here holds. So that's just general theory. Yes, and um, here, mu is not yet what we want to have because mu is a measure on the infinite product of i, but mu must be by construction invariant and under coordinate permutations, so it's exchangeable, mu is exchangeable, 
And so we can use the Vinetti's theorem such that there is an pi valued random variable, which we now call xt, such that the left hand side here um, can be written like this here. So that's an independent product of this um, probability matter valued um, random variable xt. And that now we are here. That's exactly what we want to have. The distribution of xt is then here called mu t. So we have everything, we have found our mu t, and then we find that um, we have well posedness of a Martingham problem for this generator here, which is in fact the same generator as we had here on the last slide, but just written a bit differently. And the solution is then called this Fleming VO super process, and we did not need any approximation arguments, just the duality. Let me conclude. Um, and also extend a bit what we do in our manuscript, which in fact can um, be downloaded here, which should be updated also soon. Um, one thing is sometimes GX um, is a composition of two things. For example, here, a mutation operator and the operator which we have for the Fleming View process. And then we can still do something um, using Trotter's theorem. One downside is the Ries Markov theorem, which we need here in the example, only works on compact spaces. And therefore, compactification of the state space might be required in the case you want to apply this. So you have to take care when using the Ries Markov theorem. Our main goal is to apply this theory to a complicated process, which we will call the tree valued Fleming Leo process with recombination which is uh, something we'll treat in the future. Well, thanks for listening, and I'm happy to take questions later in the discussion room.